And welcome back. Time for Social Media Saturday. I asked Naoma, what are we talking about today? Mm -hmm. And she said, privacy apps. All about what you can and can't do. With and, those apps. and we were talking here in the break. There's a lot that I think people may not be aware of, yes. but need to be. Tell us, oh great Naomi. <laughs> exactly. So you have your phone, and let's say you want to show a photo with a friend, and then they start swiping through, seeing what other stuff you have, looking at your other photos, checking out what other apps you have, or even if your child, you know, grabs your phone, knows how to get in, like myself, or they can kind of play around, and you're like, no, don't answer that phone call. So there's some apps you can kind of make your apps a lot more secure, your photos more secure if they can happen to get into your phone, if you lose it or get stolen, or someone has access to it. So the first one is Gallery App Lock, and this is for the Android market and it's a separate gallery you choose which photos you want to hide in this secret gallery hmm. so this is kind of cool if they miss the password three times it'll take a photo of whoever's trying to access it so really? you're gonna have access to know who so if my son's trying to break into the code thinking he knows the password in my phone he may not have access to the gallery but if he tries and it can also I think call you but then that's the dog watch mode they have a stealth mode where you can even hide this app from your phone so it's not even in your apps when you're swiping through your phone the hmm. only way you can get to the app is if you go to the dialer on your phone and type in another code and then it'll bring up that private gallery that nobody will know that you have. Wow. So that's kind of a cool thing that you do. They also have one for apps that you can use for the Android market where you can hide your apps and again select which apps you want to keep private where you might need an extra passcode on that one. And then you can also have a dimmer on certain apps so you know people that are trying to see what you're doing. You can have a certain passcode let's say for like my children when they see my phone ring they want to try and answer it for me. So they might have to put another code in if they want to answer the phone. And it does also have the observer feature where if someone puts in the code three times wrong, it'll take a photo so you can kind of know who's snooping uh, in your phone. <laughs> and maybe, and, it, and is, I mean, these days our lives are on our phones, right? It's Absolutely. your computer in your hand that yep. you're carrying around. I mean, so to be able to set that up, and even in like some strange circumstance, like you said, if it trips after three times, it's almost like an ATM camera or something yeah. and it can snap a photo and so you can see who's trying to break into your phone or break into your apps or you know be in places you're not because this is your mini computer our whole lives are on here email photos things that we're doing so it's a good thing to maybe do especially you know if you have kids that are playing on your phone too so have you caught your son trying oh. to break in? Uh oh <laughs> yeah i think they know it all they, they try and look over my shoulder and stuff and see i'll figure it out they might i don't know but this is for um the android market they, for the iphone there's a couple other apps you can do that i think are also cool. Um, the first one is probably Dropbox. If you have the Dropbox app, you can just upload some photos that you want and then put a passcode on it. But this one that they're showing right now is called SpyCalc. It looks like an actual calculator and as an app on your phone, so people aren't normally going to go to there. Mm -hmm. But same thing, and then you put a code in and then it'll bring up your private photos and kind of puts it into a slideshow for you. Wow, fantastic. All right, Naoma, they're giving us the big wrap. Great information as usual, and we'll be back, everybody.